Okay, now some economic theories reject the idea that debt is always a problem. Modern monetary theory, for example. Tell me why you're right and if there's any middle ground here. And for those who don't know, modern monetary theory claims the government, like the U.S., can spend more freely so long as it borrows in its own currency. As New York Magazine put it, the U.S. can't run out of dollars because it can print them. So tell me why you're right and if there's any middle ground between you and the MMTs. It's so totally correct that the United States can't run out of dollars because they print them. But again, what MMT doesn't deal with is the fact that one man's debts are another man's assets. And so what happens is throughout history, this has always happened, that if you print it and you have lower buying power, you don't want to hold your wealth in that. If you think about like people think that their money is safe if it's in cash. But last year they lost over 7% in buying power, and they're losing buying power at a very fast rate. And as they wake up to that, and they are now waking up to that, then they sell that debt. And what that means mechanistically is the central bank then either comes in and prints more money because they have to make up for those people who are leaving, which creates more inflation, or they don't print the money. And when they don't print the money, then you have a debt crisis. So that's where we are in the cycle. That's the mechanics of it. It's been the mechanics throughout history. I wish it was true. I wish MMT was true, which means, okay, actually, you can print and borrow all that that you want, and there are no problems with it. But I mean, come on. Right, right. Okay. But you think there's no middle ground. You cannot do, there's no I'm just dealing with the supply, demand, the mechanics, literally- Like, do you want to hold your money? Do you want to hold your money in cash now? I mean, like, you decide what you want to do. You can do that. But it would be, it seems pretty crazy to me. And that's where we're making a shift right now. There's a very big paradigm shift that's going on in which there's a state where you came from not worrying about inflation. These paradigm shifts last about 10 years. And the way they work is, There's a certain mentality that everybody believes. And that new paradigm is we don't worry about inflation. We have new technologies um, and so on. And everybody wants to be in the new tech stocks because they're going to be the revolution. But they don't pay much attention to the price. And that the central bank produces a lot of money. So you produce a lot of liquidity. And that process starts to have one extreme confidence in one thing. Then there's the wake-up call. Then there's the adjustment to the wake-up call. In other words, now people are thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't keep my money in cash. And they also start to think about inflation. So people, when they enter into uh, labor contracts, they want more protections for inflation. Or they are buying assets to protect themselves against inflation, which contributes more to inflation. And when that happens... Then the central bank has to do what the central bank is doing. It tightens monetary policy. So you lose money to inflation and your interest bill goes up. And that creates a squeeze that becomes intolerable. And that's the way the system has always worked. 